Good morning friends, Olivia here. Um, I thought I would do a quick unboxing this morning because I have a couple parcels that I am uh, ready and eager to open and uh, I thought I would do that with you as usual because it's more fun that way. Um, so I'm just going to get right to it. I have a package from, or just an envelope from Timeless Tradition Quilts. Um, I think this is just, there was one chart on back order and they sent me that and oh so pretty. This is Basket Love by Timeless Traditions. Isn't that so cute? All the different blocks and baskets. Love that. Cool, so I'm glad they got that to me. This one is Quaint Rose Needle Arts. Um, she just released some newbies, some new charts, and I ordered a couple of them for the shop. This is so cute. This is Roxy Rabbit. Always, you know, gigantic bunnies. It's a thing, and they're adorable. And Tulip Urn. This is part of a series. It's really cute. So I picked those up as soon as she announced them. And last one is a box from Carriage House Samplings. Always happy to get those. All right. Okay. So. Restocking Widow's Walk. Isn't that beautiful? This is Three Chairs. I think I'm adding this is a new one. And I thought this was so cool. Spot the Horse. Classic. I love the stitching this one. Um, I just made up new silk kits for this one. I'm unfortunately I just don't have um, much time lately to make silk kits, so I don't have a ton in the shop, um, and I don't know how often I'll be able to make them. But I did just make Spot because I used one of these for, to stitch Spot, and it was a lot of fun, and I love this piece. So, and I did not too long ago restock Riley Harbor. So if there's like a special one that you've been waiting to have restocked or anything like that, let me know, but um, I'm doing those a little sparingly these days just because of time, my current job, etc. which is hard. It's a, it's a hard, it was a hard decision to make to cut back on those because I really want people to have access to just the silk they need to stitch a project, but they do take a lot of time and I have to prioritize my day job at this point in my life, unfortunately. But anyway, Sisters of the Heart, this is so cute. This is like a lovely either sister or friendship piece. I love that. I always thought this one was so beautiful and I didn't have it in my shop, so I do now. This is Silver Landscape. This one is Marty Barrick and um, yeah, it's just gorgeous. I think that looked good on like a blue fabric. Anyway. Um, Shores of Hawthorne Hollow. I have, may have sold out of this chart, I'm not sure. So, glad I have more. I'm also selling a silk pack for this now. Um, the colors are so pretty. The, the silk pack for Shores, I want to say it's like half the size of, maybe a little more than half the size of the other um, Hawkward Hollow pieces, in case you're interested in doing it in silks. And I have the pack on sale right now. I love the moon. Like, that's so cool. One day, one day. In the same theme, I've got Sampler of the Sea. It's also Marty Barrick. house samplers. I should do silk packs for that. That's just like four colors. It's so cute. Love this one too. Quaker alphabet sampler. It's an older one. I just, I don't know. I love the alphabet. I love these motifs at the bottom. The layout. Just about 
my hometown. I'm a little late for Easter, but hungry hair feed sack. This is so cute. I mean, come on. What a bunny. Bunny's got to eat. And then the horse feed sack with Spot on there. I could see stitching just Spot as a companion. Spot's girlfriend. Her sampler. Fields. It's another happy spring one. Faith, hope, and honor. Quaker Christmas tree sampler. I think I might get that in like every shipment. <laughs> Another new one to the shop, shop, Blooming Basket. It's just so happy and springy and there's only six colors in that. And finally, the new release that I love, Strawberry Dream. This is from the Trudy's Kitchen series. I love strawberries, I love a house, and I love blackbirds. So this one, um, I love. I love it. There's one yellow strawberry. So I'm going to add all of those to the shop as soon as I have the opportunity. But thank you so much for joining me for another unboxing. I always love them. They make me so happy. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hi, I'm back. I have another package that came today. This one is from Hello from Liz Matthews, so I'm very excited. This should have um, the new market releases along with other patterns for my shop. So excited to see what we got. Oh, she said there's some extras for me. That's super nice. What? And a card. Oh, it's a birthday card. That is so sweet. Oh. God, Liz Matthews, man. What a sweet person. Class act, I'm telling you. Amazing designer, amazing person. Okay. All right. Got some more copies of A Beautiful Pumpkin House. I love this. I sometimes think about maybe just doing the house. I love the house. And I love the blue fabric background. One that I've been wanting to stitch for quite some time now, butterfly cloche. I was thinking of doing it on like maybe a gold fabric, nice and like warm it up a bit. But I love a cloche. Okay, boo, this cute little pin pillow for Halloween. Autumn cloche, also want to stitch this. I have my silks ready for both autumn cloche and butterfly cloche. So just start them. Carnation sampler. This is really cute. My friend Maddie stitched this one. Isn't that pretty? The colors. Oh, I love this one. The vanity sampler. I saw the silk packs for this one too. The colors are beautiful. It's a really soft palette. And then um, Cam the Stitcher did like a, a goth version and a whole bunch of people are styling it. And, she, and so check out that conversion too. It's in DMC. And um, just different colors, same beautiful pattern. So, I love that. And then another sampler of hers I love, Forest Sampler. 
I also do the silk packs for these. Again, just gorgeous colors. She just, she chooses the best colors. And I just think she chooses the best samplers as well. So reproduce. For a friend. Another cutie. It just takes the best pictures too. I mean, come on. I need those skills. Tenth day of Christmas sampler and tree. I'm sure you've seen it. This is the new 12 days pattern. Got it to the shop. I can't believe you're on the 10th day already. Oh, Remember me sampler and tree? This is so cute. I think I like the tree version. But that's a hard decision. Oh, Spring House, also from Market. So beautiful. Look at that on the blue fabric. Mmm. I love that. It's so whimsical. I also love this new one, Cottontail. Oh my gosh. And Kia B did this tiny version. Um, what was it? Was it 56 count, I think. 56 count, yeah. It's so cute. And I love it on the blue background, too. Uh, I stitch them all. Another new one, A Buzz at Midnight. I'm going to be selling silk packs for this. I was just waiting for the chart so I could take pictures. But again, beautiful blue background fabric. Everything just pops on there. So I think this is a perfect piece to stitch an MPI. Um, Sleepy Hollow. I love this one, too. Halloween, of course. Lots of pumpkins with facial expressions. You can't go wrong. Sampler Tree. Another beauty. Again, just look at the, look at the posing of the pictures. Quaker Snowflakes. Quaker Garden. And first day of Christmas. Oh, a treasure, a treasure box. <laughs> so that was, that was really fun. Thank you for opening that. When it came in the mail, I wanted to rip it open. I was like, no, I'm going to do this together because it's even more enjoyable that way. And um, yeah, so I need to get these into my shop. I need to take pictures of the new releases or I always take pictures of the covers of the charts and I post those in my shop. But like in this case, Liz would have sent out the nicely taken pictures. You don't need to know all this, but you know, like when they announce their new releases, the designers, they'll send nice pictures that they took. I should use those, not create more work for myself, but I don't always think it through. I'm thinking it through now out loud to you guys. So, um, so yeah, I need to get those posted in the shop and then I know I have one more package coming tomorrow. So I will wait until I open that one with you guys before posting this video. Anyway, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for hanging out. Bye. I'm back with one more package. This is a heavy one. Oh, from Hoffman Distributors. So there'll be a variety of designers in this one. And um, excited to see what I got. These came pretty quickly, I have to say. So very excited about that. Um, the way it works when I order from Hoffman is I order stuff, put stuff in their website, in my cart, I buy it. Then when it comes, I find out what they actually had in stock. So I have an invoice here, and then everything that's zero is basically stuff I ordered that they didn't have. So it's looking like a few Blackbird and basically anything animal crackers related must have sold out already so that's all right you can get it at other shops um so let's see what i did get okay let's start off please all right i think this is one of my favorite market releases pretty in pink by shakespeare's peddler i'm not a pink person but i love this pattern um so I had to get that for the shop. And I picked up some more Shakespeare's Peddler. Pennsylvania Christmas Deer. Sorry, it's 
Let's see. Oh, I'm keeping this all in the video. Real life. Okay. Pretty in pink. Showed you that one. Oh, this is a Lottie Dot. Um, usually I buy Lottie Dot <laughs> directly from the designer, Lori. Um, but I ran out of this one really quick. Um, and they had some at Hoffman's. So that's one stitch at a time. This is one of her market releases. Super cute. Um, and very popular. This is Pennsylvania Christmas 2 from Shakespeare's Peddler. I know, we're not near Christmas, but these are so cute. And actually, they don't need to be Christmas, in my opinion. But, um, I think those would be cute. Anyway, Pretty Bird from Artsy Housewife. I've run out of this pattern again, so I ordered some more. Same with Byron Blackbird. Such a handsome guy. Stocking back up on Cinnamon Stars by Plum Street Samplers. Coffee and Eggs by R.C. Housewife. I've been having a lot of fun watching my sister stitch this one. She's working on the rainbow right now. I keep having to like bring up more, bring her more supplies. Today it was a seam ripper, so that's not a good sign. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Last time I saw her, or the time before that was needles. Now it's a seam ripper. Um, this is one I have kitted. I pulled a few threads for like years ago. I still haven't started, but I love this one. Plum Street Samplers Beekeeper. It's so small and cute, and I should just stitch it this year. I should get on it. You know? Fractor Bird from Shakespeare's Peddler. I love that guy. I'm gonna stitch that. Let's see. Getting Midnight Silhouette quilt pattern back in stock. Here's some Stacy now. sampler and sewing bag. I love that house. I don't know if I would make a sewing bag out of this. I'd probably frame it if I stitch this, which I would like to do. Okay, more pretty in pink. Jenny Bean's Halloween sampler. I don't have this one in my shop and I stitched this one and I love it. So, got that. Stitch this one too, Friends of the Heart. The beauty. I need to get that one framed. Let's see. I've shown you these. Everything's mixed, mixed, mixed up here. Um, A Study in Nature by Artsy Housewife. It's so gorgeous. Are people stitching this? I want to see this. It's just the, the hashtags don't work. <laughs> okay. Caroline Sampler and Sewing Bag from Stacey Nash. Another awesome brick house. Love the roof and the birds. So I had to get that. Okay, I think that's it from that package. I mean, the small package in the package. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm keeping this all in. I'm grunting. Okay, more arts and housewives. I don't have her new market releases yet. Hoffman didn't have them, so I will have those in the future, but I did restock on some of the stuff I was running low on, like Pear Hill. I had also um, sold out pretty quickly of sampler hair from Lottie Da, this cute bunny, so I grabbed a few more of those. So sweet. These I showed you. Sorry guys, this pa they've packaged this one a little differently than normal, so um, it's not as easy to show things in order, but I'll take what I can get. <laughs> okay, so some Blackbird restocking, winter, autumn, summer, really wanting to stitch this bird lately. Maddie, I think you said you were picking that up. I think that's why. This is another one that's been on my mind a lot lately. Miss Baxter's House Sampler. This is Martha Pudsey from Scarlet House. This 
is Fractor Dub from Three Sheep Studio. I don't have any other patterns in my shop, but I saw this one and I just thought it was beautiful. I don't know if you can hear it. I have like lots of charts just sliding off the couch. <laughs> this pack is making me feel like a mess. Let's be honest. Um, Rachel Howells. I need to get more of this beautiful lady in stock. I sell the uh, silk kits for this one and for Martha Pudkey. Um, but definitely two of my favorite reproduction samplers that I have not yet stitched. A uh, new one from Blackbird Designs. They love more strong. The booklet. This is another Shakespeare's Peddler. This is Painted Flowers. Very pretty. Elise Navidad from Blackbird Designs. Moments of Glad Grace from Blackbird Designs. This is a new release at market. Um, I went to the retreat that this was um, at, so I actually have this one, but um, now it's in a pretty booklet form, so it's a very pretty sampler. I really like this bird. Okay. I do believe that's all. I'm sorry, that was a kind of a messy package, but I think it was still a fun package. And some of these are new to my shop, so I'll be taking pictures of them and writing up listings and um, trying not to start them right away. So anyway, thank you so much if you watched this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of these unboxings. I always love doing them and sharing them with you. Um, and I love getting packages in the mail that are cross-stitch related. <laughs> anyway, I hope you're all doing well, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!